Now that we've solved for the moments at B and C involving the rotations, we need to come up with a moment diagram. And a moment diagram is found in this way. Taking a look at section AB and knowing the moments at A and B that we solved for already, we summed the moments at B and got our reaction at A to be 4.32 kilonewtons. This is the distributed load, which we'll call Q of X. And Q of X is solved for in this way. We took Q of X over 4 is equal to the X over 12, which is our dimension. And solving for Q of X here, we get X over 3. If we take a section at between A and B, this is the positive moment here at the end, and this is the shear. We're going to sum moments at this point and assuming X is going this way. For section AB, sum of moments is equal to zero. We have the positive M, X, M of X. This is our distributed load, which is the area of the triangle, triangular distributed load, half times base times height times the moment arm. Base is X. Height is X over three, which is Q of X, which we solved for already. And this is the moment arm, which acts one third the one third of x away from the where we're summing the moments. And of course we also need to include the reaction force at A times x. This is the moment on. Um, simplifying we get this and we need to take the derivative of this which will maximize our our moment at a given value of x. Taking the derivative of this we get this and simplifying, we get x squared is equal to 6 times 4.32. And solving for x, we get a value of 5.091 meters, which is the value of x between a and b, which gives us our maximum moment. And plugging that value of 5.09 meters into our moment equation, we get our maximum moment between a and b of 14.7 kilonewtons times meters. We did the same thing for section BC, which we had a rectangular distributed load. We used the same method to come up with a moment equation, and simplified is this. We also need to take the derivative of this to, find, to give us a maximum moment between B and C, which is this. And solving for X in the same way as before, we get X equals 6 meters and plugging that 6 meters into our moment equation we get a maximum value of 27.8 kilonewtons per meter times meters for the moment and plugging all these values in we get a moment or yeah a moment diagram and here is our 5.091 meters which we solved for first between A and B and that gives us our maximum moment of 14.7 these are our moments we solved for before negative 44.2 and this is set between section B and C, which we also get a, a maximum value moment value of 27.8. And due to symmetry, this will be the same value here, same value here. And this is our x value for the maximum moment between C and D.